Hello Capricorn, I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Capricorn strongly in their chart, um, but it may not fit for everyone. We're all different ages, we're all going through different types of experiences, and from my from my way of thinking it would be um, quite in, quite unrealistic to think that everyone is living in the same life template. That said, I hope there's something here that can help you in your journey, in your journey ahead. I'm Capricorn. I'm going to get started. I have been a little un under the weather the last couple of weeks, so my energy might be a little muted. Um, please be patient with me. Um, I really do enjoy working and it's been kind of hard for me to hold back. Um, so I'm going to do this reading. Hopefully it will bring some important um, information forward for you. Let's go ahead and look now um, what is in the current energy for Capricorn. Capricorns, if you don't enjoy the shuffling, just move ahead in the video to where the reading begins. I don't mind if you do that. What is in the current energy? What is in the current energy? What is in the current energy for Capricorn? What is in the current energy for Capricorn? What is in the current energy for Capricorn? What is in the current energy for Capricorn, please? What is in the current energy for Capricorn? What is in the current energy for Capricorn? For this group of Capricorn people, what is in the current energy? Wow. This is incredible, incredible Capricorn. What is Capricorn stepping into? What is this group of Capricorn people stepping into in the next incoming period of time, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks? However fast Capricorn's moving, this is the next immediate wave of energy. The next immediate wave of energy. Next immediate wave of energy for Capricorn. Next immediate wave of energy. All right. Guidance, please, for Capricorn. Guidance, please, for Capricorn. Guidance, please, for Capricorn. Wow, it's this one. <laughs> All right, I got it. What is that card? Three of Wands, beautiful. Guidance, please, for Capricorn. Guidance, please, for Capricorn. The moon made a showing here. It didn't come out, though, but certainly has something little to say, kind of a side note. Okay, Capricorn, again, just want to remind you, my energy might be a little off this time. Um, feeling okay now, but you're the first one I'm doing today. This deck is the Wheel of the Year Tarot. There will be an extended reading after this reading that will look into um, about four. I usually do four of the energies that I see here. We'll look deeper into these energies, and then we'll take the situation out into the future. We'll look month by month until we get to June. All right, so let's begin, my friends. Let's begin, dear Cappies. I mean... You have the Three of Cups next to the Magician, next to the Nine of Cups, next to the Ace of Wands. And the energy that I get when I, when I get into this energy, Capricorn, is an energy of... It's almost an energy of getting into the driver's seat and putting your seatbelt on. There's something here that you are about ready to take action into. You're stepping into taking action. This is the energy that I'm feeling. It's something that is perhaps with a group of people here with the three of cups, the three of cups. When I get into this energy, this is, this is an energy that I feel like there is some sort of celebration around. And sometimes I get into a celebratory energy 
and I feel like there's just a single person, like you're at home, you have um, accomplished some kind of major victory in your life, and you are sitting in that energy and feeling the victorious energy, but it is a solitary, beautiful kind of celebration. And that can be this energy for you too, except for if it's this energy and you're solitary, you're not alone. You're celebrating with your spiritual team. There is energy circling, circling around this happiness, this celebration. There are energies circling around it. So whether it's people's energies or the energies of your spiritual team, whoever you connect in with, whatever your religious belief system is, there are energies swirling around this celebration. So it could be people, it could be your spiritual team. It's not a lonely celebration. Let me, let me put it like that. Let me, let me say it like that. It's not a lonely celebration. It is a celebration where you feel like you are together with, with something or someone or entities. Okay. If this is something that you have been working to manifest with the magician energy. And I feel like this magician energy is more of a celebratory energy. Like, see, this does work. My efforts that I've put in and the belief and the trust that I've had in my actions and the way I've been working to bring this into fulfillment, these steps have worked for me. It's almost like you know now the path in which your wishes arrive. The path in which your wishes have arrived, you can now see the path. Whereas in the beginning, when you started to manifest this, when you started to work towards this, you weren't quite sure of where the path was going to go or, or who and what was going to be on the path. And now you can see that path clearly. That's what, that's what I'm getting. It's like the path. You can see the pathway. The nine of cups energy is an energy, um, of some sort of dream being realized. There is a heaviness to this energy. There is a kind of a reverent energy here, Capricorn. It's kind of the energy that can block the throat chakra because there's not really any other right words that you can truly say. See, it's choking me. It's choking me up. It's like there can be some tears here as well. Tears of reverence towards your own efforts and towards your spiritual team. There is celebration, but there have been sacrifices. This is a true victory because true victories, true completions come with a weight. They come with a weight. They come with some sort of sacrifice. Whether you've lost your old self in the process or you have given up some friends or you have um, stepped forward in a different way than maybe your family has been on a, on a path and you moved to a different path. Whatever it is, there have been some true sacrifices here, I feel. So there is a dream being realized. And with that dream that's being realized, there is something of significance for you to absorb. That's what I mean when I say this is a true victory, because when we step into true um, life-changing experiences, they come with wisdom, do they not? And when we can gather wisdom, we those that wisdom comes with lessons, right? It, see, it's hard. I'm not going to stay too long in this energy because I could sit in this energy for a long time especially now I'm not totally uh, my, my normal, you know, exuberant energy that I, that sometimes I can be not saying I'm like that all the time, but um, it's a beautiful energy. We have the ACE of wands. So there is a new beginning here. There is a new beginning here. There's something that's getting ready to happen. This, there's action that's being ready. That's getting ready to be taken, whatever this is. I'm not going to classify that it's a love affair. I'm not going to classify that it's a new job, right? It's for each and every one of you to say, this is what my Ace of Wands is. But it's something that fills you with passion. It motivates you into taking action. You might be doing something that you might have been scared to do before. 
It's something that tingles within you. You know, when you, it, it's like the feeling of when you brush up against another human skin and you can feel that the, 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 the pulse of electricity that moves from one body to another, that's an electrical pulse. And so there's some sort of pulse I'm getting, like an electrical pulse. So whatever it is, if it's a relationship, if it is a new opportunity that's come your way, if it's a new life path or a new hobby or something exciting that you're doing, a vacation perhaps, that can be a wish to come true. And you could have worked very hard to get to some place. You could have said, you know, when I get to a certain place with my finances, I'm going to go on a vacation. I'm going to celebrate my victories. When I get done with this very difficult task at hand, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And this is a group of people that have reached the this and that. Let's see what's up ahead. Let's see what's up ahead. This is what it looks like to me. So some of these cards came in upside down and I don't know what they are either. And some came in bunches. So this is, these are always revealings. You see them as I do. Ten of Wands. Beautiful. Knight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. It was like this, wasn't it? Temperance, right over the top of the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Princess of Pentacles. Knight of Swords lateral. So these are how the energies came in, and I know they're not all vertical, they're not all up and down. But this is how it's going to feel as you move into the next period of time. Now, realize these are general readings, so you might um, resonate with a part, part of this, or this might all really feel like it could be your story. So we're talking about the next few weeks here. I feel like this is probably the next few weeks. I, don't, I just don't think it's going out several months. I think this, for many of you, this is a more immediate type of energy. Sometimes the readings can go out several months, and when I feel that type of energy, I'll say it, but this is a more this month kind of thing. I feel as a messenger, right? It's yours to receive and to use as, as it's helpful for you. So we start this reading with the Ten of Wands energy. Then we have the Knight of Swords. Then we move to the Seven of Pentacles. The Chariot energy is in a um, reversing position. Moving into the upright. We have the Temperance energy over the top of the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. We have the Princess of Pentacles over the top of the Temperance energy, the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Swords in the lateral over the top of the Chariot in Reverse and the Princess of Pentacles. So the energies I see here are um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Sagittarius energy, and Cancer energy. Now, when I say that, it doesn't mean that those signs are necessarily here, but the characteristics that those signs represent are part of this story. There's a period here for you that's ending. Along with this new beginning and this new excitement and enthusiasm and exuberance you have for this incoming experience, you have something that's ending. And in the next couple of weeks, there is going to be um, some sort of um, what the picture is that I'm being shown is a rope and the rope is being frayed. And what I mean by that is when you have a rope and it rubs against something that's sharp, it will slowly over time, each little thread that's within the rope will break. And eventually that whole rope will break. So I feel like over time in the next couple of weeks, you're going to have a situation um, that's going to slowly start to disconnect. And it could be, um, there's a car outside this, the alarm is on, it's distracting me. I don't know if you can hear that or not. I have to get back in my flow again. 
there's something that's slowly disconnecting. So what I feel like it could be is like, if this is a new job or if this is an old life or an old way of thinking about something that's, that you're disconnecting from, it's going to take some, um, a series of episodes for it to totally disconnect. That's what I feel with this rope fraying. Um, it, it doesn't seem like it's too terribly painful and maybe this rope has already frayed. Maybe for some of you, you have been going through this disconnection process for a while and you're at the very end of this rope connection so that after a, one or two more cuts, this rope will totally disconnect and you can move forward into this new beginning. But there is something here. And I think for a lot of you, it has to do with disentangling yourself from something that you participated in before or uh, maybe where you worked you're disentangling yourself from duties and, and obligations that you have at that place, or perhaps you have a relationship that you're leaving or, or something where you're saying your final goodbyes or you're um, cleaning the energy between two people where you're saying things that need to be said and um, doing things that need to be done so that the energies between the two of you are clean and healthy. Whatever it is, there is something that's ending um, you, you have this rushing energy to move forward into something new and you will be with the Knight of Swords. You will be moving forward quite, um, strongly into something new. Um, but there is this rope that is, that is there and it will slow you down just a little bit. You're going to be pulling at it and it's probably you're pulling at it, pulling to get away from it. That's going to probably tear it to the, to the end because you do have the temperance energy over the top of the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So this is going to call for you to be somewhat patient and understanding and compassionate um, with whatever you're disconnecting from. That's what I feel like. Um, you're ready to go. You're ready to go. You're ready to move forward into this new beginning. This is a, this is a dream come true for you. And um, over the next couple of weeks, or however long this is for you, there is going to be a little bit of a disentangling process. All right. Um, as you're moving then, after you do this disentangling, you are going to see um, indications of success, indications that come in, whether it's messages that come in or improvements in finances or um, experiences that you have that bring you confidence in whatever this next this next um, experience is, there are going to be ind indications of success, which is going to really fuel up the Knight of Swords. It's going to help you push forward. Um, it's going to, it's going to help you disentangle yourself from this Ten of Wands. It, it just feels like to me, um, an anchor. There's an anchor somewhere. There's a rope connected to the anchor connected to you. And that rope has frayed. It's, it's getting to the point where that rope is ready to break apart. And as you start to see indications of success here or have experiences that give you confidence in this next um, opportunity, it's going to allow you to continue to pull forward, to express yourself, to bring forward this new version of yourself that is your truth, that is your direct self, it is your transparent being. Whatever it is, it is an energy of truth, expression, um, bold movement forward. It's, it's practical, right? It has a lot of clarity around it, right? It's, it's a knight of swords, not the knight of wands. Those two knights have a similar rushing energy, but sometimes the knight of wands can be a little bit, um, maybe the knight of wands doesn't see all the details. The knight of wands sees is full, full of passion and desire to move into a new experience because of some type of experience that's there. The Knight of Swords, it's, it moves forward very powerfully into the future. The Knight of Swords has a very clear grip on what is what the intention is. So there's a different energy between the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Both have the same ver velocity, right? Both have the same strength behind them, but the pathway that they take is a little different. So there's, there, there is a, an energy of truth here at Capricorn. And I really like that for you. I think that's very, very grounded type. It's a very grounded type of energy. N normally you would move as the Knight of Pentacles, right? Being very, being very slow and careful and consistently move forward. It's not like that for you here. You're moving forward very passionately into the future, but you are 
tracking. See, look at this page of pentacles here with the seven of pentacles. That's what I mean. It's truthful. It's powerful. It's direct, but it's also very grounded. That's what gives you the ability to move forward quickly because it's grounded. You're being practical. You're pragmatic. But even in those two P words, practical and pragmatic, you have this fueling energy that is pushing you forward. Okay. So, with the Page of Pentacles, that's helping fuel you forward. And also the Page of Pentacles is helping you to see this Page of Pentacles, this, these experiences that you are having, or this, these indications of success that you are realizing or seeing some kind of indications. They are helping you to know what needs to be done in the future. They're helping you to see the pathway ahead. They're helping you to see what to invest in, what to be trained on, what you must learn about being in this type of relationship. Whatever that is, there is an energy here of training, investing, waiting and working, and it is connected to the, to these experiences that you're having. So even as you're moving forward, that's why, that's why the Knight of Swords is here because there's a lot of, um, it's like you're in search of the truth, but you're fueled by passion, right? You're in search of the truth. You are in search of further clarity and you're fooled, you're fueled by the passion and the, this tracking that you're doing of the success is allowing you to keep your feet on the ground and not go flying up into the air. Um, keeping your feet on the ground, keeping practical and pragmatic and knowing what it is that you need to do to further bring this in. Okay, to further bring this in. We have the chariot energy here. So um, as you see these indications of success and as you see what needs to be done as you move forward, it's going to help you to continue to move forward. All right, so this seven of pentacles, this investment, this training, this further learning, this waiting and working energy is vital for you to continue to move forward with the chariot. So I do feel like um, there's a little bit, I'm putting this in the up right now. Hmm, nope. The chariot can go in the upright, but the nine of swords stays like this. That's what I feel. So there is going to be maybe a little bit of a pause here. There's going to be something that you see that probably needs to be worked on or something that needs to be said or something that needs to be done here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful because you don't want to miss these steps. And once you see this, you're going to be able to move forward. Um, we do have the nine of swords here in the lateral. I think that you have overcome with these tracking, tracking the goals, tracking the victories, tracking the, the, um, tracking revenue or tracking how you're feeling, like if you're starting a new relationship and you're going out on some dates, track how you're feeling afterwards. Are you feeling good about yourself? Is the other person feeling good? Um, did you have fun? Did you have lighthearted conversations? Right? How did the dating experience go? So at the end of the evening, number one, are you feeling good about yourself? Is the other person feeling good, do you think? Did you enjoy your time together? Right? Did you have lighthearted conversations? Right? Was it a I'm not a dating expert, so you can research that. But I'm just saying, like, there is this tracking and this keeping keeping goals and, and keeping yourself grounded with lists or with information is going to help you to um, keep the anxiety and keep the worry, keep the, um, the energy flow that sometimes can really overcome us. It can keep us from being able to relax, from to be able to sleep. It can keep us from eating correctly. This kind of energy that kind of puts us in a whirlwind will be, it, you'll be able to keep it under, under containment or under wraps or under, uh, under management. So I see you moving forward very quickly, very passionately in the next few weeks. There's something here that you're realizing as you move forward. You're seeing some victories here, but you're also seeing what you need to do. And this could be a little bit of a delay here, but I do see you keep moving forward after this sort of realization period here. Um, so it's a, it, this is, this is just moving through it. And this is what happens when we have, when you look at readings that are just for a very small period of time, it, we can really dig deep here into into how these experiences go into our transformational process. All right, let's look at the guidance. Let's look at guidance for Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles, there you are. I felt he was there. Three of Wands, that's the card that came shooting out. Remember that when I was shuffling? Devil energy, there you are Capricorn, all right.
Capricorn, I don't see anything. I don't feel anything um, difficult. I don't feel anything difficult about the devil energy. I think this is where Capricorn can shine. This intensity that you have um, can really push you forward into new frontiers. It's like the the um, it's it's like you're in the energy of the Knight of Wands, like I was talking about earlier, but it's actually the Knight of Swords. This energy that you're in will help move you forward into new doorways and into new experiences. And sometimes Capricorn, because you're so practical and grounded and you're so careful and you work so hard, um, you can get stuck. I'm Capricorn Moon and I have a son who has a lot of Capricorn, a lot of Capricorn Sun and some other big Capricorns in his chart. Um, sometimes it takes like this pure rush of hot energy to, to kind of push you, push you into something, right? And this energy, the devil energy here, I feel is vital. It's feel like something that's, that is an energy that will help to move you forward. And so embrace it. You understand how to manage the devil energy by now. You understand how to manage it. It is a superpower that you have. This passion, this intensity, right? It is a superpower. Every energy here in this tarot deck can be a superpower or it can be a destructive energy. And in this, I feel this is a superpower type of energy that I feel here. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a guidance here of being careful, of remembering with the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles to um, keep your lists, keep your notebook, have your computer handy, keep track of the details, keep track of how you feel, Manage the information because this is going to help you to continue to move forward in a steady way so that you don't lose steam, right? So that you don't lose steam in this. It's this devil energy and the three of wands energy. Um, it, it can be tiresome. You can, if you have a hard day, you can come in and um, if your yin and yang energies are depleted, you could have thoughts and... Um, and influences from within you that could turn this devil energy into something that's darker. So remember always that this is a superpower energy, but if you don't stay with a, in a, um, with, with an optimistic energy, if you don't keep yourself in a, um, if you don't support yourself with the facts and the figures that keep you comfortable, right? The facts and the figures and the careful movement and um, the groundedness that brings you security is going to be vital for you to manage this hot energy that you have. Three of Wands energy is optimism, optimism, enthusiasm, exuberance for the future, seeing the beginnings of your ships coming in. Three of Wands is usually for me something that has been established and now it needs to be further created. It's like step one has been done. I can see it. I can feel it. Now, what do we do? Now, what do we do to make it more successful? Now, what do we do to expand this? What do we do to succeed in this? What do we do to nourish this relationship? Okay, three of wands. So I think this is a really good situation for you. I feel like these all these energies are very powerful. And I don't feel really any warning signs here that I see, I feel like you could be waiting with this nine of swords. You could be waiting for something to happen. Um, but I don't necessarily think that anything major is going to happen. And if it happens, um, I think that you have an ability to, to move forward with it, to, to resolve it, to think clearly through it. Cause we have this knight of pentacles. He's very, he's very smart. Um, and you'll be able to overcome. So it's a really good reading Capricorn. It really is. All right. Um, Cappies, I am going to look now at what, I'm going to move through in the extended. Well, I definitely want to look at the Ace of Wands to see what we have here. I want to look at the Nine of Cups, this wish coming true. I want to see what this Knight of Swords says, what this Knight of Swords is doing. Oh, you can't see here. These are the three energies so far that I want to look at. I'm kind of interested in the seven of pentacles. What is it that you're going to be working on before the chariot? So I'm going to kind of do a little bit of investigation here. Um, some of it's exciting, but some of it is also investi investi investigating more. 
um, because I know that we're here not only for the exciting news, but also for helpful information. We're going to see what this is. We're going to look at this wish coming true. We're going to look at what the Knight of Swords is, is trying to do, what, what he's trying to communicate. And we're going to dig deeper into the Seven of Pentacles to see if we can find more information about what kind of work needs to begin, begin when you come into this short delay before the chariot. Okay. Then we're going to take these energies and we're going to move them out into June. I'm going to start with March, May, June, March, April, May, June is what I'm going to do. Okay, my friends, thank you all very much. It's always a pleasure to read for you. And thank you for your patience for, with me the last couple of weeks. Thank you, Capricorn.